have a look at our map, you'll see that the distance we have to cover from Avontir all the way through to Haarlem is a massive drive. It's about 20 kilometers, so it should take us 15 minutes. <laughs> And we'll be in Harlem. I'm telling you, I've never heard of Harlem before, so I want to see it. Me too. Look at how those orchards are covered. With one shade cloth. Well, I think they stitched the whole lot together. But I mean, it, okay, it, eventually it's now, a single thing. But look at these. Individual rows. Yeah, and you see the apples in there. Many apples, red wow. apples. Wow. Wow. Lots of apples, eh? Yes. This is interesting now. You got a good suggestion that you think they cover it like this for birds? It might damage the apples. I would think so. That makes sense to me. If I were a birdie, they would have been very tempting, hey? <laughs> and I would like pick once and go to the next one and cause a whole lot of damage that way. Yeah. So. I wonder if they have monkeys and baboons in the area that also might. This covering is, is interesting to me. Yeah. This, I don't know if those are also apple trees. Can we know that for sure? Yeah, they they may apples be or pears. Pear trees? Yeah. Yeah, we don't know. But um, these are wrapped. These are like wrapped like ah, a present. Yeah, they'll <laughs> struggle to get yeah. in there. Yeah. Very interesting. Cool. Yeah. Overcast today, hey? Yeah, it's nice and cool. Maybe they had water but not enough, uh, rain but not enough yet. Or oh, just a quick downpour. Okay, there's an old bridge. How will one get to that? Where? There. I have oh, to go. There. There. Oh. No, no entry. Well, we headed in that direction. Wow. That's a train bridge, that yes. isn't it? That's a road in here, yeah. let me go down here. Yeah. Before we even reach Harlem. Check these are wrapped with black. Yeah. They are green apples, aren't they? Yes. The 
Penny Smith. I would imagine. Yeah. But some of them are red. Yeah, I would know. Does one get red trees? Granny Smith. Oh, oh in between. Oh, maybe these are still going to go red. That's something I know nothing about. Is apple farming? Yeah, absolutely nothing. Sure, this is where it is. I can see something in between the trees there. Look at the tracks. So this is, must have been the Apple Express that used to come through here. Look at this. Well, I'll be. Can you believe this? Wow. Amazing. The Apple Express is to come across here. Fantastic. Look down there. <laughs> This is gorgeous. Fantastic. This was such a nice find. Yeah. <laughs> Beautiful. Oh, we love things like that, eh? Yeah. Do you see that major pipeline? Yes. On the mountain? Yeah. Wow, is it? That's quite major. That's a big pipeline, eh? lies between the Otaniqua and Kamanasi mountains. Oh really? Ooh. I didn't know that. I read that in a book they had at the guest house. Oh. I would imagine these go to these roads go to farms, yeah, right? Definitely. We can maybe start heading into the little village. I think that's a good idea. Before we do 
that. I want to cross that little bridge. <laughs> Only goes to one farm. Yes. Look at this. It's pretty. Very. And there's water flowing here. Yes, there's a little you can waterfall. See these these um, shrubs have been pushed down, so they must have had rain somewhere and those waters come down here. Got a lot of water flowing here. Yes. I think there was more because look at that grass on the other side. These green grass yeah, has been pushed flat. over. Yeah. So there must have been water falling somewhere else in the catchment area and it just has a runoff. It's brown. Let me turn around. Yeah, these reed, reeds have been completely flattened. Yes. So they must have had a bit of water running down, yeah. And these are big reeds. Yeah. Thick ones. Always good to hear water, hey? Yeah. Wow, he's beautiful, eh? Okay, let's see if we can get into Harlem. Let's see if we don't get distracted again with something else. <laughs> I like distractions. Yeah. That bridge is beautiful. I love it. Well spotted though. Yeah. I mean there's very little to be seen. You can hardly see it. It's yeah. behind all those trees. There a little bit of yeah. it. But oh, very well spotted. There's the old water tank for the Apple Express. I'm saying the Apple Express. I just pres presume that the Apple Express used to come along here to pick up all the apples. Oh, it makes sense. Yeah. You see, it still has a spout. Yes. Incredible. And there's that water line that you showed earlier. It's yeah, it's there. a big pipe that. Yeah. I see a steeple. Yes. Now we are in the city limits. <laughs> you can say so. Oh, I love this. Look at this little house. Oh. Yeah. If I only knew a date. Yes. Was a church. Definitely was a church. Definitely was a church. That's very old. Yeah, people are living there now. It's got a satellite dish on and everything. Oh. It's a thatch church, but what? It has a thatch roof. The gate is open. Oh. No. Absolutely, and the doors open. So this is a Lutheran church and I see it's a national monument.
So the cornerstone was laid on the 27th of January 1878 and the church consecrated on the 14th of August 1880. Its erection was initiated by the Reverend Friedrich Prisch and the building thereof was supervised by missionary H. Howe and Heinrich Christoph Markotter. Amazing. So in, on the 7th of November 2010, they celebrated the congregation's 150th year of existence and the church building 130 year. That's crazy. the thatch. Now that's why this must be the original original thatch. There's even plants growing in there. I'm so glad to hear that they're going to be fixing it up. Yeah, come. 
so nice to see them cleaning the church, gardening. Fantastic. Were you just lucky to find it open? They're just busy cleaning the inside of the church now. Oh. We were so lucky to get here. But it's so nice to see that they, they're trying to take care of their church. It's just now they can unfortunately not do anything about the leaking roof. But oh. I'm glad to hear that she says that they are going to repair the roof. That's fantastic. What a beautiful building. Yo. Look at this little house, please. Yes. <laughs> this is like an 18th century village or hamlet. Oh, definitely. As they call it. Interesting roof, this. This is cute, eh? Wow. <laughs> Grand old dame. Look, Look at, at that. that one. What? I say there's very little contemporary influence here. We can see that, eh? Yeah. Those, thatch cottages. Those little thatch cottages are so nice. I see we've got a little bit of a drive. I just want to read something about the history of Harlem. Yeah, no, please do. They say the origins of Harlem according to records indicate that it was established on a farm called Valgelegen. This was during the time when the British colonial government was awarding grants of, lo of land on perpetual quadrant. Michael Haynes was one of the first recorded owners in 18... 21. Now Michael Haynes, interesting, was one of the missionaries that supervised the building of the Lutheran Church. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So now you see where he comes in. Yeah. So they say, Valgelegen and its surrounding land was then transferred to G.E. Haynes and J.C. Tauter in 1844, in the year 1856, an initially white township was established and laid out by J.C. Tauter, as it can be seen today. Missionary work was done here by a congregational minister. It is rumored that the town of Harlem was named by homesick Dutch settlers after the town in Amsterdam, okay. Holland. behind that tractor and he's busy grading the roads. That's fantastic. Yeah, it's amazing. Yeah, everybody's got horses and the horses look awesome. I suppose that's their transport, eh? Yeah, I think, yeah, it must be. There's enough food for them. Yeah. Oh. 
see the train line. Okay. Do you see? See the station. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, look at this. This is incredible. Now what I'm, I'm thinking is that these tracks are so narrow, those narrow gauge tracks, that I'm worrying, wondering, con, must have just been for the farmers here to transport the apples up and down. Are you saying it must have? Must have been. Something about that. First, let me enjoy the station. Yeah, no, no problem. Oh, you yeah. said a car. You said car. It is. Yes. Or what's left of it? Or what's left? It must have been with the old Apple Express. I'm gonna go and have a look. Yeah, see if you can see any markings. Yes. I love this. Oh, man. Still blows my mind how narrow these tracks are. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's SAS, South African Spoorway, South African Railways. Well, there must have been some structure here. You can see the bolts. There's no more. But this has been out of action for many, many years. So, my presumption has been correct. Sonia did some digging and she found out that it is indeed the Apple Express that used to travel through here. But she also said to me that she's found some incredible information which she wants to share. So I must come back to the car right now. <laughs> so are you ready? I'm ready, ma'am. I'm on a read, eh? It's yes. way too much. Yes. The Apple Express has played an important role in preserving a valuable part of South Africa's rich rail history. With the Port Elizabeth Avontir narrow gauge lines internationally recognized and regarded as one of the top 10 narrow gauge lines in the world. Wow. So, this narrow gauge line was authorized in 1899 and construction commenced in 1902 reaching the Afontir area late in 1906. The line was built to connect the scenic Langkloof with its fruit growing industry to the port of Port Elizabeth. The official opening of the line was in 1907 with a main line track length of 284 kilometers or 177 miles from PE to Avontir. The 30 kilometer branch line from Hamtoes to Patensi was completed in April 1914. 
So the, in closing, the establishment of the deciduous fruit industry in the Long Kloof and the use of the narrow gauge to transport fruit to the cooling sheds in the Port Elizabeth Harbour for export led to the popular name for the narrow gauge line, namely Apple Express. Wow, fantastic. What a brilliant story. That's amazing. Yeah. So there we have the full history. So now I can with ease call it the Apple Express. <laughs> Not that you haven't <laughs> up to now, happened. you were so convinced. I was convinced that it, it's like so rare that you see a narrow gauge track like that. We saw it over here and we didn't see evidence, we only heard of the evidence when we were there on the west coast. have been built shut though so I don't think it is a church, church. anymore uh, okay we can get to it I think it looks like it, eh? it's just the windows on this side oh okay to me it it, it looks fine there's someone we can ask yeah. So this is the Dutch Reformed Church and just a little bell tower. Now I want to just walk around and see, I can't get in, it's locked. But I'd just like to see when it was built. If there's a cornerstone. I don't see a cornerstone here. No cornerstones. So this is the Dutch Reformed Church. And what's interesting is she doesn't work for the Dutch Reformed Church. She works for an organization, UNIP. It's U-N-I-E-P. It must be an acronym. But um, the ladies we met at the Lutheran Church, she's at the Luther she goes to the Lutheran Church. All right. Now this UNIP has given them jobs, create, it's job creation, okay. creating jobs for them to keep the grounds clean, clean the churches, keep the streets clean, all of that, which is very really interesting that they're creating jobs. And it's run by the, 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 the um, Dutch Reformed minister of this church, but he's stationed in Uniondale. Very interesting. Very, very interesting. It could very well be the same minister who organizes these hikes from Uniondale to Wouldn't surprise Russell me. Bay. No, it seems seems quite active. Yeah, yeah. yeah. A very unobtrusive Dutch Reformed Church. Yeah, very. May I say? Oh, no cornerstone or anything. So. But nothing, no elaborate design nothing. or it's anything, just, which just is for quite unusual. To come and worship and yes. That's it. Yeah, which okay. is great. Oh, ambulance is known. That's what ambulances do. Yeah. I spotted something while I was sitting waiting for you at the church. Okay. Something that I read about and didn't think we'll see. But I was wrong. Okay. Cool. I beans. shall show you when we get to it. You just continue. I am. They said you can stop here. Yes. They said that they still plow with farm animals. Don't tell me because I just spotted them with that horse over there and they are plowing with a horse but they've just stopped now i think they've 
I don't know, they're making new rows, I think. Yes. But they were leading him back and forth, back well, and forth. I'm going to stop. I have to wait for them to start doing it. Maybe we can drive up there. Yes. Because I love that, because that's how they did it all those years ago. And that's how they obviously still do it here, some of them. Incredible. Incredible. I just spotted that now as you were talking. <laughs> it's like mind blowing. So he's patiently waiting with his plow for the next row. Yes. Oh, are they laying irrigation pipes? Yes, they're moving the pipes. Yeah. So that they can plow. Look at that. I've only seen this on movies or in movies. I've also never seen it. Do you know what I love the most? Yeah. Is that the rows aren't straight? <laughs> it's not perfect at all, yeah. Incredible. Can you believe it? Eh? That was nice. Yeah. Love that. What can I say? Just on the outskirts of Harlem. It must be the smallest church we've ever seen. <laughs> and it's so neat. Look at the gardens neat. It's Never a pastoral cat. It's very cute. Harlem congregation. I love That's, it. That is cute. I wonder how many congregants there are. I'd say 20 to 30. <laughs> That'll fit in there. It's going to be a tight squeeze. No, it's like a classroom. <laughs> very cute. Very, very. Look at the apple trees, yeah. full and full of apples. Oh, look at the teeny clothes on that washing line, please. <laughs> it's newborn. Yeah. Harlem was fantastic. Uh, I, I, I'm struggling to find words of what to say. It was really a nice visit. I enjoyed the church, the history of the church, what it looks like inside. Yeah, absolutely. I feel like I stepped back into the 18th century Definitely. For, a, for a little bit. Oh, for sure. For sure. And then the station as well. Fantastic. It was fun. 